and Chess.com is here with the winner of the 2018 St. Louis Rapid and Blends, Hikaru Nakamura. This was your first international win in St. Louis. Is that something you thought about going in, or is that just some kind of quirky stat that means nothing to you? Um, no, I, I didn't think about it. I mean, I've, I won a match against Aroni in here uh, maybe in 2013 or something, 2012. I can't remember how when it was, but uh, I played 11, I won a match. So um, to me, I, I think that's just as... Uh, just as valuable as winning winning event like this, um, but but yeah, still it's it's quite nice considering the way that today started off to to find a way to pull through and win. win and, of, and of course, many U.S. championships we haven't forgotten those. Uh, you said that you needed five and a half points. You thought that was your your number going into the day today. How did you arrive at that number? Well, I just I mean I figured Maxime was what two points behind me at the start of the day, so I figured if he. Uh, if he scored like plus plus four, I thought it was quite possible for him. Um, then uh, I'd still be half point up, uh, or I'd still I'd still be one point up actually there. But but I mean I just figured pl plus four plus five was about the max that max uh, was that was the maximum that Maxim could get to. So uh, I figured plus two would be good enough, and uh, sure enough that you know was the score I got. <laughs> and the two guys closest to you were the two guys you played at the very end of the event. Is that kind of the way you wanted it to be in control of your own destiny in the final two games? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, having black against Shaq and white against Maxime uh, is about as much as you can ask for at the end of an event. So, um, yeah, it was, it was quite nice to play them, and especially in Shaq's case because he kind of had to go all out based on his uh, previous two results in, in Paris and Leuven. Um, and that, that gave me more opportunities to win, and uh, I was able to convert, and then fortunately the last game just didn't matter at all. And in the second to last game when Shaq played G4 against you, I'm guessing you were expecting something like that was going to happen at some point in the game. Uh, I didn't wasn't expecting it there, but yeah, I figured some he, he'd find a way to do something uh, offbeat that that wouldn't be easy to play against. Um, and I think against Sergey, maybe it wasn't that exact structure. But it felt like at least two times against Sergey, it's something very similar where he played some G4, G5. So I kind of figured something would happen, but um, I was able to play reasonably well. I thought. I mean, uh, that in that game, I mean, I thought I survived and was probably just clearly better, and then I sort of let it slip because I thought that the danger was gone, um, and then I kind of had to had to play quite precisely to not end up in trouble, but um, I, I defended quite well, and so I was, I was able to win that, win that at the end. You've probably played more Blitz games than anybody else here at this tournament. Do you still have adrenaline that goes through you at the end of Blitz games? Um, I mean, I think... Uh, not, not as much. I think, I mean, I, I used to like Blitz a lot more. But Blitz is kind of getting harder and harder, it seems for me these days. So um, I still enjoy playing, but I, I, I would say at this point I prefer Classical and Rapid, actually, to Blitz. But do you notice spikes? I mean, you have to play nine Blitz games. Do you notice, like, your energy going up and then you having to calm down and that sort of thing? Or are you able to keep your emotions in check? I mean, generally, I, I, I tend to play pretty well, so usually there aren't the huge swings. But, like, on days like yesterday, especially, where it's like... I, I felt like I stabilized then then like I lose this game to, to Lev for example like it's when you have these sort of more up and downs you win and lose uh, I think they're definitely going to be spikes um, but I, I don't think it's it happens all the time I, th I think the main reason main main reason it doesn't is because as I said before you, you try to stabilize you try to avoid having these big swings especially where you lose a bunch of games in a row um, and uh, I, I for the most part, I avoided that. Yesterday was, was pretty messy, but uh, today was much better. And you'd already clinched by that time, yet you played your final game against Maxime Vashi Lagrave, and he had the best blitz score. Does this give you a little bit of extra motivation going into your speech chess championship match with him? Uh, not really. I mean, I got I, I mean, I mean, got winning positions every time against him in Paris, and uh, and I had fine positions here. But I mean, I, th I think, I mean, getting good positions is more important than the actual result. And uh, certainly in that last game, um, I... I probably should have just made a draw, but I, I kind of wanted to play, and then I just started drifting throughout, and, uh, and then bad things happened. But, uh, no, I mean, I, I've gotten good position, got positions against Maxime, so uh, I'll worry about that match when it comes around, but that's uh, quite far from, from my mind at the moment. And final question, you've all but punched your ticket for London. You said you spend most of your birthdays in London, so what is the, uh, the best birthday you've ever had in London? Um... I mean, I've never done anything that extravagant in London for my birthday, um, but I think in general, uh, I've, I've always been fortunate to have uh, my family there. So, like, my mom has been in London pretty much every year, uh, my stepfather most of the time. Um, but it's just, uh, it's, it's a great place. I know a lot of people there, so it's become quite familiar. And uh, I just, all, all birthdays are, are good. Um, and uh, I, I can't single out anyone, but it's just uh, nice that, for the most part, my family's been able to be around for my birthdays in London. Congratulations on the deserved win and good luck in the Singfield Cup. Thank you.